Beg pardon, sir. There's a, a Mr. Ford to see you. Very well, show him in. Well, girl? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Mr. Ford, sir. Come in, Ford, come in. Sit down, won't you? Thank you very much. Care for a cigarette? Thank you. So you brought it with you? Yes, sir. I said I would when I wrote to you. Yes. You also said you knew my son. I was his sergeant, sir. Yes. He wrote to me about you once or twice. Yes, sir. You uh, impressed him. And you puzzled him, too. Puzzled him, sir. You were his equal in strength and courage. Oh, I doubt that, sir. He didn't. Had twice as many brains, used them, too. What puzzled him was that he knew you would survive the war and he wouldn't. And he was right. Did you see him die? Yes, sir. I was holding him. Did he say anything? Yes, sir. He said, what the hell am I doing here, Sergeant? I said I'd be at the Savile. And then he died. Was there much pain? No, that's a damn fool question. You'd lie anyway. I would, sir, but I don't have to. He went very quick, sir. You have a kind heart as well as a good brain. Do you like the army? No, sir. Why not? People kept on trying to kill me, sir. <laughs> I forgot. You never knew it in peacetime, did you? It's all I did know. I was a sergeant too, you know. Yes, sir. Didn't my son tell you? We didn't have all that much time to chat, sir. Twelve years. Then I took my discharge. My brother sergeants thought I was mad. I didn't. I went into business. Used my savings and my wits. I am a rich man, Ford. I suppose you knew that. It seemed likely, sir. You've got a title and your son was always flush. Go on. He had money, sir. A lot more than his pay. You didn't. Still don't. <laughs> like a glass of sherry? No, thank you, sir. Anything else? Well, if there's any whiskey, sir. There is indeed. Took your time contacting me, didn't you? It's four years since my son died. Didn't know where you were, sir. A man with your brains could find out, surely. I didn't think you'd want to see me just after your son was killed, sir. That's much better. Then I read in the papers you were staying up here. Did you also read that I was considering opening a factory here? No, sir. Do you know? I think I believe you. Good one. Good condition, too. Must be 50 years old. All of that, sir. And bright as new. Someone's been to a lot of trouble over this. My uncle, sir. Oh, uncle, eh? What was his name? Ford, sir. I don't remember any Fords. Oh, he'd be a good 20 years older than you, sir. <laughs> if he'd lived. But he was in my regiment. So he said, sir. Oh, my son was right. You've got brains. Why well, say he was in my regiment if he wasn't? That's what I think, sir. So why should I bother to look him up? And he did have the sword, sir. So he did. One wonders how. Wasn't supposed to, you know. Probably forgot to hand it in, sir. How much do you want for it? Nothing, sir. It's a gift. Very generous. I don't think so, sir. Don't you? No, sir. But I was with your son when he died. You have a civil tongue, all right, but you're still telling me I owe you a debt. Have another whiskey. Thank you very much. Thank my host. I didn't pay for it. I think I'm going to offer you a job. A job, sir? Don't sound so surprised. It's what you came here for, isn't it? 